Hello, today I'm going to do a Alex Balls from Orange is the New Black inspired makeup look. Um, I really, really loved that series and we'll continue to love it because there's a good second series coming. Um, and I really loved Alex's character. I thought she was really strong and funny and really, I really liked her. So I thought I would recreate her look. So let's get started. Okay, so we're just going to start by obviously just tying up our hair or just your fringe if that's all you want. I actually straightened my hair already because my hair is crazy curly and she does not have curly hair at all. So, okay, we're gonna get started with just some light concealer. You don't wanna put on too much because obviously, you know, they're in prison, so they're they're a little, little bit tired, I guess. But yeah, so you're just gonna wanna, if you have dark circles, like me, then you're just going to want to cover most of them up. Because she does have quite a nice, like, flawless look, but if you look closely, you can see that they still purposely kept the dark circles there. So I'm using the Bobbi Brown Corrector in Light Bisque. Okay, and this is a really, really, really good product if you have dark circles. Uh, so just a little bit of that, and then to keep the under eyes a little bright, just put on a light concealer. This is the collection Lasting Perfection in Fair One. And I like to, even just for everyday things, just use a... But oh yeah, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep it to this section and not go too much down here. Because you still don't want to look too perfect. But just lighten the insides of your eyes. Like that. But yeah, I like to use a lighter shade than I normally have for inside the underneath my eyes. Because just to brighten it up a bit. Um, then take a slightly darker... Uh, concealer I'm using the wake me up concealer in classic beige number 30 and this is another really nice uh, concealer as well and I'm just gonna cover up this bit of a pigmentation thing I have I think the rest of it is pretty good but I'm just gonna cover up any big freckles I have because she does not have any freckles and I have a massive amount of them because that's what you get for being Irish. So just any freckles. Because we don't want to go with too heavy a um, foundation. For the same reason as why we didn't want to have too many, um, too much <sighs> concealer and stuff. So I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna actually pat this in. I'm not gonna use a brush. Actually, my freckles are really quite dark, so it's high. So my neighbor walked by. So it isn't, um, what am I starting to say? So it's really hard to cover them up, but I like my freckles, so normally I wouldn't, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna try a bit. That's enough. Like, obviously it's still, <laughs> it's a completely different color to my skin, but that's what the conceit, the foundation part is going to fix. So I'm just taking my Cosmopolitan Beauty Blender. This is already damp, because uh, that's what you have to do when you use it. And I'm going to take the bo bo Body Shop uh, Vitamin E uh, BB Cream. I'm using a BB Cream because um, you don't want to look too caked in foundation. So I'm just going to take it. I don't actually don't know if there's many shades in this one. It's called like glowing shade, but I think there's only one for um with the body shop uh BB cream. Okay. So just start from the middle and work your way out. And on any parts where there is um concealer, you wanna pat, not rub. Because if you rub you will uh budge the concealer and it won't actually do its job anymore so it's kind of silly so just working from the inside out when it gets to the outside you aren't going to want to do too much these freckles are not being covered at all but yeah once it gets to the outside you don't want to do um a lot of foundation because then that leaves you with the more obvious line up onto the forehead as well 
get good. So yeah, so you just put on your um, foundation as normal. Really, you could go for a lighter shade than what I have here because she's not exactly pale, but she definitely isn't uh, tanned. Okay, blend it out around the... Yeah. So that's it, just your nice basic foundation. Hmm, good. Uh, then you're going to want to go with a powder. I'm using One Heck of a Blot by Soap and Glory. Sorry, sorry, that was someone on the phone. So where was I? Yes, powder. Um, yeah, I like this powder, and another thing that's good for this particular look is that it is really quite light. It says it's translucent, but I find it really makes me look lighter than I am. But um, that's good, because right now my face is a bit tanned, a bit more than hers is. I know it doesn't look on the camera, okay, but you'll have to believe me, okay? So, we're just going to set the uh, foundation in place. Just a light dusting. Good, good, good. Okay, excellent. Um, so now, if you look at her picture, her, her face even in the program, she has really defined cheekbones. So, we're going to try and recreate that because... I don't really have that much shape on my face, unfortunately, but with the help of the Sleek Contour Kit in light, there, and it's just a contour powder and a highlighter, and I'm also using, oh yeah, sorry, this brush that I used here was just Elite Models Powder Brush. I got it in TK Maxx, so, but it worked really well, um, and I'm going to use the buffing brush from uh, Real Techniques, and just take a little bit, and then... Just in there, obviously that's a shit ton, but we're going to blend it out. And you just want to make sure that it isn't, it doesn't look too intense, but that it really gives you that nice, see? And suddenly I have a nice <laughs> high cheekbone, okay? So when you're doing this, you kind of want to blend it upwards into your, um, the apples of your cheek kind of place. Okay. So excellent, that's that side. And then going on this side, blending it up into the... If you see, like, see the way here a lot went on, just take your brush, wipe off anything that's left on it, because you can still um, blend it out fine, but if there's still a lot left on it, you don't want to have that on the brush. Just as you uh, go through. So there, simple. And she has a bit of blush on but it's not a crazy amount so I'm going to take a really natural colour and this is the Revlon Photo Ready Cream Blush in Pinched. I'm going to take the Real Technique Stippling Brush, take a tiny bit on the brush and I'm not going to put it on the apples, I'm just going to put it here, just above where I did the contour. So you don't want it to be too obvious, just above. And then same on the other side. Just like so. So it just gives you a little bit of colour, but not a crazy amount. Okay. And also with the nose, I'm going to go back to the, the kit again. And we're going to do the highlighter as well. And I actually use the uh, buffing brush again for the highlighter. So this will just help with the look of high cheekbones. Okay. And then side again bum, bum, bum. so you just want to put it where your cheekbone is just there I'm sure everyone knows that by now I'm also going to put some highlighter down the, the bridge of my nose and then using the contour brush from your techniques I'm going to take a tiny tap of the contour powder and just run it down the sides of my nose just to make it look bit thinner and a bit more defined and I'm just gonna blend it kind of together a bit so it isn't a massive line difference and there we go I have a pretty small nose anyway though so that isn't a major issue for me I'm gonna put some in there though and there we go okay 
So that is all your um, face stuff completed. So now we are going to move on to the eyes. And the eyes are really simple except for the eyeliner, which she is kind of famous for. She said in one of the episodes that she swapped her antidepressants for um, eyeliner. So I'm just going to take my, well, any just like basic brush, but this one is a Dior brush. I don't know even, my mum didn't want it, so I took it. Um, okay, and I'm going to take the Naked Basics palette, but you can use any um, neutral palettes and neutral colours that you have. So to start, I'm going to take Walk of Shame here, this third colour in, this one, on my brush. And I'm just going to pat it over my eye. I really should look into the mirror and not into the camera because I'll probably end up making a mess. But yeah, and then again. You don't want too much, you just want a nice, a nice base on your eye, so just like that. Then you're going to take Naked 2, which is this um, light brown, and I'm going to take it on the number 7 shadow blend and contour brush. I don't actually like this brush, but it's um, the best one I have so at the moment, but to be honest, I don't like In the beginning I liked it, but... I've just realized it's not that good at blending, to be honest, but it does the job, but it, it's not like it was the cheapest, cheapest, cheapest blush in the shop. So yeah, you're just going to want to dip into there, and just a little bit. It's nothing too obvious, just that, okay? And then a tiny bit of faint, which is this, uh, I would call it a dark brown, it's a medium brown, I would say. Just take a tap on your brush and just right into the very, very corner, just here on your eye. And then, same on the other side, blend a little bit into the crease, but it just gives you really nice depth to your eye. There. Perfect. So that's it for eyeshadows. I'm actually going to take, that's a lie, I'm going to take a tiny mix of faint and naked too. Just a... Uh, uh, like tap it in both, go like tunk, tunk, tunk. and then just a little bit under just under there yep simple and again on the other eye so this is actually a really nice everyday look in my opinion so it doesn't have to be just if you want um, the Alex Walls look Okay, so then we're going to take, actually let's do eyebrows first before we do that. Now if you look at her eyebrows, they're actually a lot lighter than her hair colour, I don't know why. Uh, but I'm going to take um, the e.l.f. eyebrow kit in dark, I only have it in, really I can't, I'm only going to use the powder shade and then I'm going to use on top of it, sorry, I, for, sorry, I forgot I needed this thing so it was still over there. I'm going to take the e.l.f. Uh, Wet Gloss Lashing Brow Clear Mascara uh, as well. But I'm not going to use this um, wax. I'm just going to use the light brown thing. And then I'm using just this small brush. I don't know where it's from. I think I got it with a, a gel eyeliner or something. Okay. So I'm just going to take a bit on there and I'm just going to... But she actually... Sorry, I'm just going to have to consult my picture for a second to see the shape of her eyebrows. Yeah, you see, they really aren't that much like mine. They go quite rounded here. Like that. Yep. Yep, they're rounded like that. Then they're thinner than mine are, but we can make it work. Go up to there, and then they're really long and arched up here. But they are a lot thinner than mine are. But there is not really much we can do about that. So, just, yeah, that's about the length of them. They just go down to. Just like that. 
So, just uh, the most important part is that she has rounded brows and not uh, square ones, like mine naturally either quite square, but she has really rounded ones. Now, I know this is quite an intense eyebrow look, but the eyebrows are the main part of her whole image, so it's okay that they are. Okay, and let's check what her other eyebrow is like. It's pretty similar, but less, it's more curved than arced, which is handy because that's how mine are. Okay. Excellent. So now we're just gonna go with the clear gel over them to set them in place. Bop, bop. Now, just... Excellent. And then we go on to the um, eyeliner. I am using the Maybelline Eye Studio Lasting Drama Gel Eyeliner in black, number one, and I'm using the e.l.f. Small Angled Brush with it. So you're just going to take a bit of this. And she has quite a thick line, it's not really, um, it's not exactly the most subtle line in the world. So what I'm doing, if you're curious as to how I do my gel eyeliner, I think that's pretty good. Yep. Okay, so I just pull my, my uh, eyelid taut and then just run it along. Okay, so to be honest, it's a pretty average, I think she has it a bit more winged than I have though. So I'm just going to bring it back a little bit here. Yep, just like that. Okay. And then to try, this is where it gets hard, it's fine to do the first one, but when you try and do the second one, it's really impossible, but oh, actually I just realised I missed the... See here the way it's still light there. Oh god, that's what I get for looking in the camera, not the, the mirror, but anyway. Okay. Then the same with the other eyelid, if possible. Nope, already not possible. Mm, it's not too bad of mark. I always find it when I make a mistake. It's when I try and fix the mistake by like rubbing it with my finger that it, it messes up even more. Okay, so then we're just gonna flick it out, wing, wing it out at the end. Just like that, and then add on that little extra bit there. Are they even? This one needs to curve a little more. There we go. Not too shabby. It's a bit thicker on the inside than I would have liked, but that's uh, that's being extremely picky. Okay, so then lastly, nope, not lastly. Of course, we have to do mascara. Um, her eyelashes are actually quite natural, so I'm going to use the Wet and Wild Mega Volume. Okay, it says Mega Volume. It doesn't give Mega Volume. I really like this mascara for your like natural day looks, and it's in black. She does quite obviously have some um, mascara on her lower lashes. So we just want to... And again, like, the mascara doesn't have to be too perfect because... Well, obviously if it's like for your day look, you would want it to be so. But I doubt they're getting, like, Yves Saint Laurent 
scars in prison, but anyway. Okay, and then you can see she is actually wearing uh, lipstick in the, in the program, but it's really quite natural. But in one of the pictures that I brought up, which was I think supposed to be her like mugshot one, she's actually wearing lip gloss as well. But I'm gonna use the uh, Revlon Just Bit Bitten Kissable Lip Balm Stain. Just Kissable Balm Stain in honey. So it's quite a natural. See, I think that's almost exactly the color that she wears. Yeah. So you can leave it at that, but if you're someone who likes gloss, I'm not a massive gloss person, but if you were to choose one, I would recommend the Revlon, I don't actually know what the official name of these are, the Revlon Color Burst in Peony. And this one has a tiny bit of shimmer and stuff in it, but... I think that that is really quite good. So then you gotta take down your hair which is just center parted black. If you don't have black, then. And she doesn't have it like dead straight. It's got a bit of a, a bit of a something in the bottom. Like it's quite volumed. And then, where are my glasses? They were here, they go. They were sitting right in front of me. But yeah, then the last thing you want to take are your glasses. I think that is a pretty good look of Alex Balls. But anyway, then if you were going to make this into a Halloween costume, you just need to get the same colour um, prison uniform that they have. If you don't have prescription glasses that look like these, then you can get the um, 3D cinema glasses, pop out the lenses and colour over the thing on the side with black marker. And that's it. Pretty simple, I think. But yeah. Let me know what you think of this look. I'd love to see a video response if yeah, you have some better stuff that you can do with hers. With. Oh yeah, also her eyes are blue and not uh, hazel. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy doing this video. So let me know what you thought of it. Give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you would like to see more of this. Bye.